So I'm uh, Paul Perrone, the team lead for Team Jefferson. Uh, we're uh, participants in what's called the DARPA Urban Challenge. This is a race of unmanned, completely autonomous, self-driving vehicles um, through a mock urban uh, city setting set up by an arm of the Pentagon. Uh, the team that completes the course in, I think it's 10 hours or less, a 60-mile course, uh, can win a $2 million prize. What we did was basically take a Scion XB, just a regular car, uh, dropped in some actuators to control the steering wheel, the throttle, the brake, and our computing equipment and our software, of course, and sensors to basically turn what is an otherwise uh, uh, regular commercial vehicle into a robotic car. So it should only be about five miles an hour. All right, ready? Is there, there, one of the guys who was on the team was a, um, is a you know, paraplegic and, and saw sort of the, the value of, of this technology, this drive-by-wire technology to give folks who otherwise have a more difficult time you know, getting around um, you know, to and from you know, uh, work locations. Uh, in the most, the most immediate useful need for this technology will be as a safety overlay for our day-to-day -day driving tasks. I mean, these sensors are going to be on all the time. They're not listening to cell phones. They're not, they're not um, you, know, list, you know, trying to quiet their kids down in the back seat. We've got this technology on these vehicles, these sensors on these cars, such that they can detect things and maybe respond for the human, slow down, avoid a deer in the road, avoid another vehicle, um, and do things uh, to make our, our driving experience safer. But then ultimately, within you know, 10 years' time or 15 years' time, however long folks are projecting it's going to take, eventually the car will drive, its, drive us completely to and from work, um, you know, drive our kids to soccer practice, and do it in a safer, more reliable fashion than, than we know how to do.